Hey guys, what's going on? It's KMC Gamer here, and I want to talk a little bit about the Nintendo 2DS. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party, obviously. This thing was like revealed about a week ago, but I just want to talk about it. And before I actually talk about it really quick, I just wanted to say that um, my videos are going to be spaced out a little bit more, meaning that I'm not go going to be making videos as often just because I'm actually back in school now and I have soccer and I'm juggling AP classes and it's just a huge mess. So I got to get this all sorted out and then hopefully I can release maybe one, two or three videos a week. Really sorry for that. Um, just, you know, be patient for the next video. So onto the Nintendo 2DS. Now, before I actually give you my opinion on this thing, I'm just going to inform you all of the facts that I know about this system. So, the 2DS is basically a 3DS, except it plays 3D games in 2D only, and then it can play all of the games that have been released in the past for the DS Lite and the, all the other things. It could play all of those games as well, so it's backwards compatible. Uh, the 2DS is set to be released on October 12th with a price tag of $130. Now, based on other people's opinion, the Nintendo 2DS is actually not being received very well at the moment. Um, I saw the original video for the Nintendo 2DS, the reveal video on the original Nintendo YouTube channel, and um, it, they had to disable the comments and the ratings because they were so poor. And uh, people were making fun of this system and saying how much it sucked and giving it down votes and everything. They had to disable that completely. Um, I believe that I, I think I saw it when like I, it had two million views or so. So it probably has a lot more than that by now. And uh, comments and ratings are probably still disabled. But uh, people aren't receiving this console too well, mainly because of the design. I think that. Uh, I think it's actually a poor design, in my opinion. I, you know, I don't have this thing in my hands, obviously, so I can only go based on what other people have said about it and what I think about it based on just, you know, pictures that I've seen of it and people holding it in their hands. So I've done a little bit of research. Um, so this is my opinion of the console. Um, I think the Nintendo 2DS design is a little poor. Um, the position of the buttons and the directional pads are kind of like in an awkward position between the two screens, the top and the bottom. Now that may feel fine for other people, but I don't think that I would personally enjoy the way that you have to hold this console. It feels like you're just gripping the middle of the system, and I'm used to like gripping the bottom like a Game Boy SP or a regular DS Lite, and actually having all of the controls on the bottom and then having the, the top screen free. So it's a little awkward, but um, it, it might be comfortable, I don't know. Um, one thing that I actually did notice is that there's only one speaker on the entire system, which is actually on the left side. Um, it, it might not be a big deal for some people, but I have like audio OCD and I can like tell things right off the bat. Like if something is fucked up, I can tell right away. But think about it, you know, how would you like it if I played this video on the left side of your speaker only? So now you're hearing this in the left speaker only. Like, how does this sound? Does this sound appropriate to you? This is basically what it's going to sound like if you're holding this thing, you know, um, 12 inches away from your face. You know, you're only going to hear it uh, like mostly in your left ear, but just a little bit in your right ear. And that kind of throws me off. So um, it would kind of just bug me out a little bit. Maybe not enough to actually... Uh, not by the console, but, you know, that's just one thing that I don't like. Uh, the shoulder buttons, they're kind of bulky, like they're really big, and they look hard to reach for kids with small hands. And the whole wedge shape of the entire console, like, it's just, eh, like the whole thing just screams bleh. Now, it may just be me, but I feel like this thing may be top-heavy. Just because, you know, think about this. You're holding, like, a wedge in your hands with the skinny side in your hands and the fat part at the top. I feel like it might just want to naturally fall out of your hands because there's more in the top than there is in the bottom. So, like, think about it. Holding a wedge in your hand at a certain position away from your face at a certain angle, this thing might feel a little top-heavy. Like, you might want to, like, flip it horizontal and hold it like that. I don't know. Um, people have said that it's like, it feels very light, so I may be wrong with that, but, um, I don't like the entire wedge shape that the 2DS has, so, you know, that's just my opinion. Now, like I said before, with the shoulder buttons being too big for people with small hands, I've been told that this is being marketed towards, uh, children, 
And I have a hard time judging this console because of the demographic that it may or may not be aiming for. So, like, people are saying that this thing is made for children, but who's to say that an adult can't pick this thing up instead? You know, shouldn't it be made for everybody? Like, the 2DS should fit the hands of a child and an adult. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, who they're aiming for in their demographic, but if it's small children, I feel like the bumpers would just be a little too far to reach based on where the directional pad and the buttons are and how far a kid would have to reach to hit those bulky big buttons. I don't know, it just seems a little off to me. One thing that I can't get out of my head is the fact that this thing doesn't fold and that you know, there's really no portability in this console. It comes with a case, a carrying case, and you can, you know, enclose it in that and bring it around in like a purse or, you know, throw it in your car and it'll be fine. But, you know, I'm looking for something that will fit in my pocket. And then if I have to go, you know, take a run to some other place, I can put that thing in my pocket and then go some other place and then take it out and play it again. This thing, you would have to either, you know, put it in a backpack or, like I said, a purse or something like that in order to actually carry this thing around. So... It's a little weird that they wouldn't, you know, take the frame of a 3DS and just make it 2D only. It's a little weird. I've also been told that the design of the 2DS, the flat wedge shape of it, um, for children, it'll be like, you know, a little bit stronger. And like if people drop this thing, it won't break as easily as a 3DS would because of the hinges and everything. So if you drop this thing, you could probably throw it at a tree and it'll still be fine. I don't know about the screens, but, you know... It won't break like a 3DS would with the hinges. I feel like a 3DS would just snap in half if you threw it at a tree. But this thing, I don't know why I'm throwing DSs at trees, but I feel like this thing would be more durable, which is why people are saying that this thing is aimed towards kids. But, you know, I have no idea. So we're going to have to wait until October 12th, and that is really good timing for Pokemon X and Y. So I have, I have no doubt that this thing will sell. Maybe not too well, but it will sell for $130 bundled with Pokemon X or Y. So I can't really say that this is a pass or fail. I'm definitely not buying this system because I'm poor and I can't afford it. I can't afford anything right now. But um, yeah, I mean, Nintendo's at it again, making new consoles and stuff. You know, this is really up to you if you want, you know, another console that plays 3DS games in 2D only and is very economical for its price and um, its durability. So, you know, you got to make that decision. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. That was my opinion on the Nintendo 2DS, just based solely on what it looks like and what other people have said. I've kind of molded my own opinion based on, you know, uh, a collective response from everybody else. So I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I will upload them as soon as I can. Peace out.